I want to show you one amazing tool for interactive data frame visualization as well as analysis. The tool's name is Detail. You need to first install it in order to use it. Once installed, it is very easy to access the data frame and visualize your data frame as it is. Now, this is the command to install it. Once you install, you can import it. I've already imported and loaded the data frame also. Just through one single function, you can invoke all of these analysis. Not just this, more of such analysis is present. That is analyzing missing values, summary statistic, analyzing duplicates, variance report, highlighting missing values, all these. Let's have a look at it. On running detail.show, pass your DF to it. This provides a view that looks something like this. This is your data frame view, right? You can see some of the columns or in fact all of the columns and rows in your data frame. Everything is present here. All right. Now go here. If you click here, this menu comes up. Inside this, click on detail, actions, visualize, highlight, settings. All these are various different functions. To show all of these functions in one single menu, you can click on this play button here. All of those menu items are present in one single menu over here. Let's go over this. Now to view this data frame here, we have a constrained view right for this data frame. To view this in a new browser window, you can open the entire data frame in a new browser window like this. Now let's look at this. We have created it a new window. Let's click on describe. This in turn opens a new window. This gives you a more detailed description of each of the variables or columns that you have in your data set. You have the describe, you have histograms, value count, QQ plot, more statistical plots. Then you have passenger ID. Passenger ID describes, it describes the unique values, outliers, no outliers detected. So like this, you have descriptions of each and every column there. Next. You have custom filter using this. You can filter whatever you whatever value you want, whatever rows that you want to filter, you can filter it. You can create new columns using build columns, merge and stack, summarize data. Let's look at this. So using this, you can create your own pivot table, do group by operations, do transpose operations also from right from here. So let's create one pivot table. Let's take say survived in rows, P class in columns, values could be say age, aggregate it with mean, All right, execute. It gives the pivot table over here. Now, how is this useful? To create whatever functionalities that you are creating over here, all those functionalities, you can extract the code that detail used to create that function or whatever manipulation that you did. To export the code, there is a function that's a menu item over here. Click code export and that will return whatever changes that you did that will return it over here. So this is not giving us the pivot value because we did not make that change. This code export is confined to this view of your data frame, right? To get the pivot table view, you need to go here and click export code from the pivot table. This will return the code that detail used to create this table. This is using the pivot table function, right? Like that it works. You can now copy this function, go, take it to your Jupyter and integrate it into your workflow. Now let's come back to this. What other things are there? Summarize data we have seen. You can view duplicates. You can do missing value analysis. Let's have a look at it. So this is a representation of how many missing data is present. There's a lot of missing data in, in this age and cabin data, right? Cabin column. Then bar graph, heat map of missing data analysis itself. All this information is present. Then we have correlation analysis, correlation chart and a scatter plot chart also. All right. Then we have heat maps, highlight D types, highlight missing in this original data, you can highlight missing values also. Right? There are a lot of missing values in age as well as cabin, right? Like this, you can also explore. So analyzing missing data, outliers, highlighting the range, low variance flag, whichever column is having low variance, you can flag it off. Export the data, you can load new data, refresh the width of the data columns, apply new light and dark theme. You can use dark theme also like this. So pretty much these are the various manipulations that you would typically do. Creating a new column, doing pivot tables, doing group by operations, renaming columns, all those operations you can do it here, export the code and, you, and use that in your Jupyter Notebook. So that's the overview of how you can use the detail package to analyze or visualize your data frame or work with your data frame.